Hi friends, I have the honor of introducing to you Dr. Rahul Day. He is rank 9 this year, INICT November 2022. Heartiest congratulations Rahul, how are you feeling? Thank you sir, I am elated as I can be. Uh, getting a single digit rank, I am happy. Yes sir. Just happy or super happy? Uh, I am super happy actually. Super, super, super not... happy, actually. Yes sir, I am uh, pretty sick actually. So I am uh, with vigor. Yes, sir. I know, I know, I can totally understand. So, Rahul, you know, before we go into anything else, I just wanted to know yes, some basic questions that a lot of students have asked me to ask you. Yes, Which sir. set did you appear for? Was it morning or evening? I appeared for the evening session. Evening session. Uh, how many questions did you attempt? Um, <laughs> that's actually a problem for me because I didn't check how many I appeared. Uh, I probably think it was around 185 to 190s. Because there was an option I heard from my friends that we can check what, how many number of questions I have attempted from exam section, but I was in a bit of a hurry at the last. I couldn't check how many. Approximately, I around, approximately around 190 maybe. Right? Yes, and, yes. Uh, you know, uh, any, any particular thing that you observed in the paper, like uh, maybe which prof subjects were more, what kind of questions were there in the exam and was time management of issue or not? Can you elaborate? Um, I couldn't see any uh, predominance of any subject as such. I found it pretty balanced as AIMS papers generally are from the past year's uh, paper I have solved. Uh, but yes, uh, I felt the time was actually a bit on the toes. I was on the bit of the toes to manage the time. I finished the paper just 12 minutes before the clock ran down, actually. So that was a bit of an issue for me. But it's all right now. <laughs> the ranks are out. I'm happy with it. And you have been a DAMS two-year foundation student. So if I may ask you, were you happy with the quality of classes and uh, the discussions that happen in the classes? Did they help you to build your foundation? Yes, sir, definitely. My primary uh, base notes were DAMS only. So they were crisp as they can be. And they do definitely cover the entire syllabus in a very concise manner, which helps you a lot in re revisions, which is very important for these uh, national level exams. So yes, it did help me a lot. And when you start early, does that help you to build more concepts as compared to starting late? Um, there is my side of it, actually. Uh, actually, when you are in the MBBS sessions, you have to take the classes that are going on in the colleges a bit seriously or a bit more sincerely, to say so. Because uh, these things, uh, the exams that they conduct, the questions that come, they are a bit uh, memory-oriented. And from my side, I, I was not very confident on my memory, actually. So I felt these were like flash topics, which are uh, very prone to get uh, messed up or forgotten. So yes, uh, you are uh, aiming for some national exams. Early beginning will surely help you. But I guess everyone has already begun when they uh, enter the MBPS curriculum the first years because they are studying the standard books that is prescribed by the MCI or whatever board they are. So, yes, early preparation beginning is helpful for them. Yes, sir. And uh, Rahul, I would also want to know from you that, you know, any particular, uh, you know, topics that you think were more represented in this year's exam? Like uh, first, second year or maybe any anything that you want to add on? Mm, I felt uh, not specifically, not any dominance of any such sort like previous when the March uh, in the May session, I heard there were biochemistry was more predominant. This year, this session, this was not true actually. I felt it was pretty balanced. O OBG questions were there, medicine questions were there. I didn't feel uh, anything. Yes, maybe some new things like uh, like uh, immunology. Few questions were uh, a bit new for me. So I felt uh, the second year subjects were a bit more demanding. So you need to have a big, better understanding of the concepts to have a clear-cut idea because they had the options arranged and you have to select the one. And so you have to know the sequence. So that is not possible without knowing these things to the core. So that was uh, really needed for these exams. Yes. Yeah, because I think when I look at the paper as compared to May, May exam was more first, second year skewed. And uh, this time the exam uh, is uh, still there is first, second year subjects, but more balanced. Almost every yes. subject is represented. 
and that has given the edge to you know people who started early or maybe you know in your words started from the day one of mbbs actually but you know all that is all very theoretical but sometimes when somebody starts from day one it's very difficult from first year mbbs to actually understand what the mcq right. exams are it it is uh, you know it it grows on you also rahul i would now want to know which branch are you wanting to take so my uh, i have dilemma in that i would like to pursue either medicine or radiology as such so but i am not yet made my mind on which one to take as yet so i'll give a more serious thought about it in the days to come i think the, the number of seats also is there in the this time i think the number of seats in may were more in radiology i, I don't know this year in november they have kind of done a little bit of flip flop but let's see let's see how it goes i you know wish that you get the branch of your choice in the place of your choice and you. rahul i want to know from you you know your non medical side do you have any non medical side to you uh pardon sir i didn't get the question a- a- any non medical side or any hobby which is not related to medical yeah. profession at all um yes i like to paint sometimes uh, but that has taken a backhand in the these last 5 months or so i haven't been able to indulge in that hobby of my yes i would like to <laughs> go back to that and relive myself actually now when you look back today were you now when you look back and you see the exam and you see that they are asking more or more or less the usual things in the paper and uh, the previous year topics are always important now when you look back at those dams notes that you made with us in your third fourth year i presume were you happy with the coverage that the teachers have done in a concise manner i feel that uh, every teacher has some personal insight into that subject he gives a basic notes that everybody writes and there are some things that he tells in the class which is which many of us actually miss or do not actually write down or do not jot it down in a manner we can relate to at a later time i made this uh, to a point that i write those things down right either in the corner or in some simpler languages because the question patterns may be changing the con- and the concept remains the same and these small things that are written in the part of my notebook somewhere in the corner these actually become the new type of questions so uh, we might get uh, pretty mixed up later in the preparation that my notes are inadequate or i might need to change my source or some and so but uh, if you have prepared the notes and attended the class sincerely even if once that's enough i guess because uh, that was enough for me i think that's a very valid point that even if a teacher is telling some clinical story or something that you don't feel like writing but sometimes that might end up being the concept so it's a yes, very sir. important and a very Actually, valid insight sir, that sir, rahul has given shasha sir teaches us ortho in a similar manner he tells us the clinical questions he tells us specifically not to write them but uh, i used to write those clinical scenarios in my notebook and i found it very useful because nowadays the questions come in a manner in a clinical scenario and helps me to directly link with my uh, notebook that this has been taught exactly in a similar manner so that helps a lot so uh, every subject there is something similar which can be taken due noted of during the classes yes sir i think this year the paper was balanced and i think the the institutes have done a well uh, job by balancing the two sets when i first saw that they are making two sets i was worried how will they balance the difficulty level but i think they have been able to do it and i see fair representation in uh, the ranks of both these sets were you apprehensive about the two sets or any thoughts regarding that did did some thoughts flash in your mind when they made that announcement of one day before <laughs> the admit cards came around 7th of november so yeah. i was skeptical for the first one hour but uh, in the last 10 days we, i was so preoccupied with my preparation that uh, i couldn't give much thought to it because uh, i felt yes whatever they have done they have a mechanism to equilibrate it and have a better representation of both the sets uh, so that nobody is in the unjustified side so yes these thoughts do come to everybody's mind came to mine also at the end of the day you cannot uh, help with these thoughts because it has to go like that uh, so it is better to indulge in the things which actually can help in the d day Uh, revising a um, copy will be a much better idea than to indulge in these uh, thoughts which we cannot have any control over i think you know that is beautifully put that you have to focus on what you can control yes, 
and that is yeah. the in a nutshell that you know the exams can get you know like i see sometimes the exams get postponed last year was all of your fiasco of postponements this year we have like suddenly you have last 10 days you realize there are two sets things like this can happen you are dealing with a system which is constantly evolving and you have to always focus on what you can control and that is what dr rahul did he spent only one hour thinking about it and then he shut off those thoughts and he replaced those thoughts with what he can control and he revised his notes he made sure that he can you know do well in the exam rahul you know one more question for you is that uh, you know when we look back at these exams and then you've done so well uh, any thoughts on what you really want to get out of this rank any which branch would you want to pursue um so this was rank was actually a surprise for me i expected a two digit rank said, so I, i think you told the radiology medicine and yes that. sir okay. I'm what, what, what was medicine. what was it that you were thinking before getting the rank i was, was it radiology was it medicine <laughs> uh, actually before the rank came out i wasn't sure i am going to make it because <laughs> <laughs> the paper was in two sets now those thoughts were coming in my mind that maybe the other set was easy and they will get the rank and so and so so i was a bit in shock after seeing my rank and then my clarity also went and i was sick also and so i i will give a more serious thought on it uh, which one to take because the counseling is sorry yes sir how did you manage the ups and downs in the preparation journey did you have a good bunch of friends or family or you know your hobby how did you keep yourself up uh, i have a beautiful family who supported me everywhere so that was my strong family was point a buffer. family yes, was sir. a buffer yeah yes sir are they around right now or are they asleep right uh, now they actually went to some relatives house they will be back soon so yes, convey sir. my congratulations to them also beta Yes, and i would also want to know from you any yeah. message that you want to give to future aspirants any inspirational message or a- anything that you want to say to people who, who might not have done well in this exam uh, say keep preparing like you have and uh, identify your mistakes that you have done and do not stop uh, having a regular revision schedule that is the most important cause Uh, even if you get 200 questions and 20 questions which are new the quality questions are in your hand which is definitely within your reach and what you have read the mistakes that you are going to make on that day is will be because of the deficit in the revision so when you have time try to have a more serious and have a better foothold on those things which you have right now so that would be my message to them sir so his message is for the students who have not done up to their expectation in this exam for the neat pg keep revising analyze your mistakes analyze your mistakes don't miss out on the usually asked topics even if there is something unusual in the exam usual topics are going to make your rank that is the golden message by dr rahul day rank 9 inict november 2022 on behalf of the entire dams family i wish you the best get well soon beta and heartiest yeah. congratulations once more i look forward to meeting you personally and discussing the pros and cons of various branches as well god bless you beta thank you sir have a good night sir good night <clears throat>